Hey everyone, welcome back to the station for Narcissus Shown. We're going to talk about something tricky that people don't always get. Why a narcissist wants you back. Being with a narcissist can be very hard on your emotions if you've been in a relationship with one. It may feel like a weight has been lifted when it's over, but then they try to get back into your life out of the blue. So, why does this take place? Do they really love each other? Or are there deeper, more selfish reasons for what they're doing? We'll look at the mental processes that make a narcissist want to make peace in this film. We will talk about how they need to be admired all the time, how they are afraid of being left alone, and how they are always trying to gain control and power. We'll also talk about the tricks they use to get you back, such as emotional blackmail and gaslighting. You can better protect yourself and make smart choices about your relationships if you understand these factors. Stay with us as we explain narcissistic behavior and give you the tools to break free from bad loops. Allow us to begin. When it comes to relationships, living with a narcissist can be one of the hardest and most draining things that can happen. People who are narcissists have a distorted view of themselves, a strong need to be admired, and no compassion for others. Their relationships are often based on control and trickery, even though they can be charming and convincing. Sometimes, ending a relationship with a narcissist can feel like a breath of fresh air. However, they will often try to get back into your life. 1. The Narcissist's Need for Attention What narcissists need to grow is often called narcissistic supply. This word refers to the praise, respect, and approval they need from others to keep their low self-esteem and sense of being better than others. In relationships, the narcissist partner is often the main person who gives them this support. The narcissist's supply is cut off quickly when a relationship stops, making them feel empty and worthless. Narcissists may try to get back together with the person to feel better about themselves. For them, Having someone who likes and supports them all the time is very important. They're not really in love or want a healthy relationship. They just want to keep their self-image and mental stability. There is no end to the narcissist's need for supply, and they will do anything to get it. Number 2. Power and Control Narcissists want to be in charge of and rule the people around them. In a relationship, this shows up as deceptive actions meant to keep the other person dependent and subservient. This control is lost when a partner goes, which can be too much for the narcissist to handle. Most of the time, they want you back because they want to show how powerful and dominant they are again. The narcissist can get back in control by re-establishing the connection. To get their ex-partner back, they might love bomb, make big moves, or act like they've changed in order to get them to come back. Once the relationship is back on track, the narcissist usually goes back to being dominant, which makes them feel even stronger and more powerful. 3. Fear of being left alone Narcissists often have deep-seated fears and doubts, even though they seem confident and sure of themselves. The fear of being left alone is one of the most important ones. This fear is triggered when a partner leaves, making the narcissist feel deeply rejected and open to being hurt. The narcissist might try to get their partner back to ease their feelings. They aren't really trying to make peace. They're just trying to calm their own fears. Narcissists may act in ways that don't seem like them when they're afraid of being left alone, like being vulnerable or promising to change. But these acts usually don't last long because the real problems aren't fixed. 4. The Cycle of Improving and Lowering One's Worth In narcissistic relationships, people are often idealized, then devalued, and finally thrown out. During the idealization phase, the narcissist gives their partner lots of love and attention, making them feel very connected and loved. The next stage is devaluation where the narcissist starts to attack and put down their partner, which hurts their self-esteem and sense of worth. The narcissist may romanticize their ex-partner again after the breakup, telling themselves and their partner that they were great together. This can make them want to get back together because they think that by doing so, they can bring back the energy of the relationship. Once the relationship starts up again, though, 
The circle of devaluation often starts up again, keeping the toxic dynamic going. Number 5. Keeping up a public image. Narcissists care a lot about how other people see them and how they're seen by others. People may see a failed relationship as a stain on their character, which makes them want to fix it. Getting their ex-partner back can help them show other people that they are attractive and able to keep a relationship going strong. The narcissist may go to great lengths to get back together with their ex-partner because they want to keep up a good public image. They might use social media, friends they both have, or public actions to make it look like they are back together and happy. But this effort is often more about getting approval from others than making a real emotional bond. Number 6. The Problem of Ending Things Many people need to come to terms with the end of a relationship in order to heal. Narcissists, on the other hand, often have trouble with the idea of closure. Many narcissists don't want to or can't do the self-reflection and responsibility that comes with admitting that a relationship is over. Narcissists may try to restart the relationship instead of ending it, so they don't have to face their flaws and mistakes. By trying to get their partner back, they can escape the painful process of looking at themselves and keep putting the blame on other people. Their ex-partner may stay stuck in a cycle of hope and failure because they can't move on. 7. Gaslighting and Manipulating Emotions People who are narcissists are very good at controlling and confusing the people they are with. They often use emotional blackmail and gaslighting to get someone to like them again. To gaslight someone, a narcissist makes them doubt their own truth and sanity. This is a form of psychological manipulation. By playing with their ex-partner's feelings and thoughts, the narcissist can make them question and worry. They might say sorry a lot, say they'll change, or act like the victim to get people to feel sorry for them. Even if it's not in their best interest, these strategies can help them get their ex-partner to give the relationship another try. 8. The Comfort of Being Like You People are creatures of habit, and it can be comfortable to be in a relationship that you knew well, even if it was bad. In this way, Narcissists are the same as everyone else. Going back to a setting where they know what to do and how to make things work in their favor can be appealing. The narcissist can avoid the risk and work of starting a new relationship by getting back in touch with an ex-partner. The process of getting their supply back is easier because they can count on established patterns of behavior and control. This sense of comfort from being with someone again can be a big reason why they want to get back together with an ex-partner. 9. What draws people to the chase? When a narcissist is after an ex-partner, it can be just as satisfying as being in a relationship. Getting someone back can be exciting and make you feel like you've accomplished something. The narcissist can show off their charm, ability to persuade, and determination in this goal which reinforces their view of themselves as powerful and desirable. Once the relationship is back on track, the narcissist may lose interest in the chase because it is no longer exciting. Seeking out their ex-partner, on the other hand, can be a way for them to boost their ego and feel like they are better than everyone else. What it means To understand why a narcissist wants you back, you need to know a lot about their mind and how narcissistic relationships work. A lot of what they do is driven by their need for supply, control, and approval, which is why they try to make peace even when it's not good for either side. When people become aware of these trends, they can keep themselves from falling back into bad relationships and take control of their lives. When working with a narcissist, it's important to put your own health first and set clear limits. Even though their attempts to get you back may seem sincere, it's important to remember that real growth and change take honest self-reflection and responsibility, which are traits that many narcissists don't have. Knowing what drives them and how they work can help you make smart choices and break free from the circle of control and manipulation. Thanks so much for watching this in-depth look at why a narcissist wants you back. I hope this video helped you understand how complicated and often dishonest selfish behavior can be. Remember that if you're involved with a narcissist, it's important to put your health first and set clear limits. The first step to getting back your peace of mind and breaking free from their power 
is to figure out what they're doing and how they're doing it. If you like this video, please click like and think about joining to get more videos about relationships, psychology, and personal growth. Don't forget to press the bell to make sure you never miss an update. If you want to keep the talk going, leave a comment below with your thoughts and experiences. Please know that you are not alone, and we can help each other get through these tough times. I'll see you in the next video. Take care and stay strong.